two new sh new two nations that is are working side by side in a workshop this week aimed at strengthening surveillance and control of mosquito borne diseases and illnesses. CBS 4's Patrick Chalvier has more. Right now, UTRGV is hosting a week long workshop focused on the yellow fever mosquito. Comparing surveillance systems and comparing how they're doing uh, their surveillance and trapping and assessments in Mexico. We want to mirror it here in Hidalgo County, along with some other efforts being put forth by the university. Health officials representing the United States and the Mexican border, including Nuevo León and Tamaulipas, will discuss a number of topics, including surveillance and control of several viruses. The yellow fever mosquito has the ability to spread the diseases such as yellow fever, Zika, and dengue fever. Between Laredo and Brownsville, we have 16 ports of entry, and there's millions and millions of people that cross legally back and forth and those 16 ports of entry every month. So it's real important that we help coordinate all of that. Among Tuesday's discussions, surveillance programs or traps already in place throughout Mexico. However, there are concerns when it comes to the country's landscape and weather. 7,000 is the number they have counted uh, with laboratory confirmation, but um, there could be more. Everybody knows that there are more, and the most important thing is basically to try to remember that prevention is the best tool that anybody has. For six UTRGV students, the pilot project is just the beginning. They'll conduct their own study and place traps in colonias looking to stop or reduce the transmission and impact of the viruses. The resemblance that we have with some areas in Mexico, not exactly the same, but as I mentioned, the colonias, the cemeteries, some ideal places that we are looking into. Officials hope the workshop will help to lessen the impact these viruses could have. Mother Nature is very powerful and very strong. Mother Nature is going to win at the end, but the whole thing is let's not give it a large target. In Hidalgo County, Patrick Shalvier, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. The study that will be conducted by UTRGV students will begin at the end of the month and they will work 13 hours a week for 26 weeks as they monitor the mosquitoes before sharing their findings with health officials.